Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Raph, and today, episode 3 of the Pokemon aimed to be a Pokemon Master series aired in Japan. This episode focused on Ash and Misty reunited with Brock, alongside reintroducing Silent. We also got revealed to two new titles at the end of today's broadcast, and a massive bombshell was revealed. There's a bunch of information to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support, and be sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you're ready to keep up to date, and without further ado, Let's begin. The episode starts off with Ash and Misty continuing with their adventure. Upon arriving at the city, they decide to take a break for some food, and this is where we get to see Brock once again. Man, he's such an amazing character. According to translations, it seems that Brock has supposedly changed his job due to falling in love with a certain waitress. However, after finding out that she wants to get married to someone else that she likes, Brock is heartbroken, because this guy gave up his job just all for this woman. Damn, this guy can't catch a break. After the opening, Silent is reintroduced and it feels so good to hear Mamoru's son's voice after 6 years since his last vocal appearance in XY. Misty introduces herself, and we see more continuity again from her sisters. I love how Silent recognised Brock as well, especially after how they met during Ash's final battle against Leon. Poor Brock is severely depressed, and everywhere he goes he just gets reminded of the girl who broke his heart. When Hatterene appears, it creates an illusion for Brock causing him to become lovestruck. Detective Silent returning was really fun to see especially seeing how he and the others were trying to break down the code on how to find Brock again. It was a very enjoyable episode, and I particularly liked the dynamic between the group. It felt kind of surreal in a way seeing the different companions Ash has met along his journey travel with him through the Glimwood Tangle in the Galar region, especially encountering the Hatrim line. I love the small references to Ash and Silent missing their favourite food as well, and of course, Misty being scared of bug types. A very nice callback. The way Hatrim was playing tricks on all of them at the same time really gave this episode a comedic and fun narrative, despite Paul Brock being hit the most. It was actually quite nice to see Ingo and Emmett in the Journey's art style as well. Silent took the stage in this episode with his wonderful character, and seeing Brock battle against Ash and Silent was pretty epic, especially with the way Hatrim was hypnotising Brock to believe Ash was the rival who took the girlfriend. Another wholesome moment from this episode was Ash climbing down the Hatrim and befriending it, once again relating to how Ash said he always wanted to befriend new Pokemon. Surprise surprise, Latias is shown again following Ash, so yeah, I definitely think he's going to catch it. Best Wishes sets a final message before Silent departs from the group, and Brock rejoins Ash and Misty, forming the original Travelling Companions. A fun, wholesome, and interactive episode. It was a nice way to reintroduce Silent again, and form the bond again between the original trio. We got to see Takashi's Paradise, the ninth Pokemon anime ending gets shown at the end of the episode. A very nice and fitting touch for this episode. As for next week's episode, this one is looking epic, as we get confirmation that Ash's Oshawa, Talonflame, Snorlax, and Incineroar will all return and the trio will be wearing new attire. Misty's attire even appears to resemble her black and white 2 jacket, and it also looks like her star move will be making an appearance. I'm looking forward to seeing this episode, especially in regards to seeing Ash befriend the rage and beer tick. But it doesn't stop there. Two new titles were also revealed thanks to Pash. Let's explore. Before I begin, the details I'll be discussing are in no particular order. This is just pure speculation. At the end of today's episode, Pash ended up posting a new article that contained two new titles. Episode 6 is titled, and I'm looking at the same move. This episode will air on the 17th of February. The summary states the following. As the journey continues, Ash and the others get attacked by Team Rocket while they're dozing off in the peaceful outdoors. They somehow manage to fight Team Rocket off, but Pikachu ends up flying off into the sky alongside them. Now separated, Ash and Pikachu start searching for each other so they can get back together. But, no matter how separate they are, Ash and Pikachu will always be together in spirit. Will they manage to see each other again? This just feels like a bait episode, of course we know Ash and Pikachu are going to reunite, and it's probably just going to show Pikachu having a little solo adventure whilst in the company of Team Rocket trying to reunite with Ash. But we then have episode 7, titled Riding on Lapras. The episode will air on the 24th of February. The summary states the following. Ash and Pikachu reunite with Lapras they travelled with in the past, and Lapras seems like it wants their help with something. Believe it or not, on the Lapras island it guides them to they find a Whelmer stuck in a cave that can't get out. They try everything that they can they try everything they can to get it loose. Will they succeed? It's confirmed. Ash's old release Pokemon are returning, and Lapras is first. I can't wait to see both Ash and this Pokemon reunite. It truly shows that this series is going to be maybe bringing back all of Ash's Pokemon for a potential scenario. But that's a video for another day. It's looking exciting for the next set of episodes, and we even got to see a new frame from episode 5 focusing on Ash's Squirtle Squad. The hype is real and there's bound to be more surprises that are to come in the future. But wanna let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter and join the Team PokerF Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like, as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my videos, and click on the little bell, 
to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.